Hello there, Creative Venus here. Welcome to another beautiful tutorial. This is something new and refreshing. Subscribe to our channel and download this slide for free. The infographic design is very easy. I have inserted the rectangular shape and stacked together its multiple copies. I am creating six steps infographic design. You can press Ctrl plus D key on your keyboard to duplicate the shapes. Keep an eye on the alignment. This style of modern design with smartwatch looks captivating and modern. Once all the shapes are in place, remove the outline. After that, fill the colors. Again, I am using the gradient fill here. Take your time to fill the colors. It is very important that the colors look great. Adjust the gradient stops and try to use the best combination. Here I have filled the colors in all the shapes. The design looks vibrant. Great. Now duplicate the set and shrink it. I mean decrease its height and width and align it to the middle. Now we will create custom shapes using the rectangle and triangle to connect both the grouped shapes. This part is a bit tricky. So may I have your attention please. Before your start, zoom in so that you can see it clearly. Duplicate one of the rectangle to be used for creating custom shape. I am create a perspective view here. Position the rectangle in the gap. Properly fit it and ensure that there is not white space on left or right. Know I will match the right edges with a blue rectangle on the right stack. In order to do that, I will insert a triangle shape and place it above the rectangle in the gap. Flip the triangle shape to match the right side. This is a very easy method. Now just flip it and align properly. After that I will merge it with the bottom rectangle to create a unified shape. But before that, let's duplicate the triangle and flip it and align it with the bottom part and lower corner of the blue rectangle on the right stack. Please take your time to adjust the things. If you think the video is going fast, you can watch it at 0.75x speed to catch up with the video. Now as you can see, the triangle is all set. I am talking about the bottom triangle. Now I will subtract it from the rectangle. After subtraction, add the remaining shape with the triangle at the top. And well done! You have created a well-aligned custom shape. Now using the same methodology, create the custom shape for the second row of rectangles. Process is same. Duplicate the rectangle, add triangles at the top and bottom. Align, subtract and add, and you will get a custom shape. This is how you can apply different methods to create any shape and visual for your slide. First think of a concept, and then try to get closer as you can in terms of the design. If you are a beginner in PowerPoint, or even as a designer, just remember this. All the visuals are combinations of a different shapes. This will help you conceptualize better. Meanwhile, if you think this content is useful, please subscribe and like our channel. Well, designing in PowerPoint is easy and fun, but it can be time consuming as well. The same layout can be created in much lesser time in any other vector-based tool like Illustrator, Affinity, Figma, etc. But what PowerPoint provides is very unique, which is ease of use. That's why it is one of the most used software for business designs and documentation. Now coming back to this business graphic, now I will create the custom shape for the third rectangle as well. Again the methodology is same. You just need to align with the left and right rectangle's edges. As you can see, I have inserted the triangle at the top of the rectangle. I need to fill the gap. Always remove the outlines from the shapes in these kinds of designs. Just review the spacing from all sides of the triangle and there should not be any gap. You can zoom in if needed. I have placed the triangle, now I will merge both the shapes. This is easy, just select and merge. Now comes the interesting part. I will group these three custom shapes, flip it vertically and place the grouped shapes below in the gap. Always try to find smarter way of doing things. Now I will flip it vertically and fit it in the gap. Well, the layout is complete now. This is the base layer for the design. Now I will add shadow layers, icons, text and smartwatch. Please be patient and watch it till the end to learn it. Here I have duplicated the group custom shapes and merged them together to create one unit. Let's add some gradient. I prefer black gradient with transparency towards the right gradient stop. This gives it a nice effect and a more 3D style of look and feel. I will follow the same methodology on the right stack of grouped rectangles. Duplicate the shapes and then merge them to create one unit. Adding a gradient layer gives it an amazing look and feel. 
just check if you have selected no line under the line menu. You can add multiple layers of shades and highlights over the infographic designs across your PowerPoint. This is my style of doing things. You can create your own styles. Now follow the same method on the left stack of rectangles as well. Meanwhile, you can subscribe to our channel and join the membership. All the slides are downloadable from the link in the video description. Adjust the gradient stops and transparency settings. This much dark is looking fine to me and let's freeze it. Now I want it to look more 3D and for that what I will do it I will duplicate the complete infographic layout but I will paste it as an image. Now I am adjusting the settings like decreasing the sharpness. By the way this will make it blurry. And also adjusting the transparency. Try to move the slides and see the impact. This way you will learn it. Also, do not forget to send it to back and make the bottom part visible. And you can see, it is looking much better now. Now let's add some circles in white on the right side of the infographic. On the circles I will then add content related icons. Duplicate the circle and place it on all the rectangles. You can also add the shadow effect and transparency. Try it. I have added one more circle on all the circles to give it some depth effect. Now let's create the smartwatch on the left side. So if you can visualize the smartwatch it has a rectangular face with rounded edges. So I am using rounded rectangle here. Give the rounded rectangle some color. After that I have duplicated it to create the strap of the watch. Place the strap on the top side and bottom side of the watch face. Adjust the height and width of the strap and send it behind the watch face. You can always use some latest tech and gadgets to depict the content in PowerPoint slides. Well, the watch face is looking slim. Let's make it more wider. After this, create the screen, some reflection of the light using gradient overlays, watch button and screen icons. The steps are easy. Now it needs some curve around the area where strap is connected with the watch face. For that I have added the triangle with curved edge. You can click on the edit points option to create the curve. Always zoom to get the best output. Take your time to master the curve. So this is the part where you need to focus more and pay attention. Make sure the curve is perfect. After that decrease the size of the triangle and place it on all the four places of the watch strap adjacent to watch face. Always check the alignment for all the shapes, else it will look out of shape. Once all the curved triangles are in place then send them behind the watch face. Well the watch face is looking cool. Now make it look real. Apply gradient finish on the strap. Add multiple light blue stops on the gradient bar. Make sure the gradient flows from top to bottom or vice versa. Strap is looking awesome and quite real. Now let's design the watch face. Add some layers of gradient with transparency to give some light reflection effect. Then create screen content. Here your creativity comes into play. Try to do whatever comes to your mind in terms of applying reflection effect or the content on the screen. Add small elements to enhance the aesthetics. I am creating the light reflection effect now, and there is not any specific method of doing it. 
It is all about playing with it. I am just adding couple of layers with transparency effects along with gradient colors. Now look at this. This looks really good and real. I am trying to make it even better. Let's see. Here I have added black overlay and this parallelogram shape. Use the subtract or intersect option to cut the shape and build a custom shape. Now apply the gradient color on this custom shape, and this will create a beautiful reflection effect. Now after some finishing this is the output. Now I am adding the content on the screen. You can customize it according to the content of your slide. I am just adding dummy stuff. Placing few shapes and icons in an arranged order to make it look good. But I would prefer some customized content as per the slide topic. This will engage the reader in a better way. Now I am creating the button as well. It is simple. Add the rounded rectangle and add gradient color. Align the watch physical button with the right side of the watch face. Well the button is looking so realistic. Now create a custom shape to create a shadow effect. Draw it in a way so that the shadow looks real. Add black gradient color and add some transparency. Here I have added this shape. Rotate it to look like a shadow effect as you can see on the screen. Remove the outline from it. After that apply the gradient color. To make it more realistic, the shape needs to be edited. Just select the shape and click on edit points. Then you can easily move the dots to customize the shape. It is easy. Add black gradient and increase the transparency on the right side. I mean the right gradient stop. Also, apply some transparency on the left gradient stop as well. Once everything is all set, bring the smartwatch graphic to the front. And the infographic design is complete. Now just add the content and apply some finishing and here is the final output. Hope you like it. Please subscribe join membership, like and share the video. List to download the slide is in the video description. Next video will be awesome. See you there.